Watch post-fight interviews and unaired prelims only on UFC.com. The guys are filing in here right now. We'll get this thing started. Uh, Forrest is going to be a little while. He's getting some stitches in that cut. Great night of fights. We had 10,529 people. We did a gate of three million bucks. Um, I'll go through fights tonight. Uh, you know, I, I just want to say something before I announce the uh, the winners of the bonus checks. You know, Koscheck and I, I'll say publicly, have had a lot of we butted heads a lot behind the scenes, and. Uh, I got to tell you, tonight I was blown away with his performance. Um, you know, I, I have to publicly say, this kid always steps up, always wants to fight, will fight the best in the world, and uh, wow, I, I'm blown away with his performance tonight. So I made fight of the night, Koscheck Johnson, to win $70,000 for that fight. Uh, submission of the night, Josh Koscheck, another $70,000 for Josh, and knockout of the night goes to Noguera. Yeah. What did you think of the decision in the main event, and uh, how long do we have to wait uh, for a third fight? Yeah, uh, you know, the the, uh, the judging is always, listen, you know, the, the fight could have gone either way. 30-27, I mean, that's crazy. I, you know, Tito and I were just talking about that. The 30-27 score is, is outrageous. It's insane. I could I, I can understand uh, Forrest getting a 10-8 uh, in, in that last round. Um, he, he, he dominated the round, and, and Tito hardly threw any punches that, that last round, but... For anybody to call that fight 30-27, then you're out of your mind. Is there, a, is there a hesitancy to make a fight? Um, what have you seen in the past as far as making three and, and with the same two guys? Is there kind of a drop-off in attention? Sometimes? No, I, I think that, uh, you know, the, the bottom line is, you know, both of those fights were great fights. They're both close, you know. I, I think there is a rubber match there. And then after the welterweight fight, you know, Josh says what he says. He believes he should get the next shot. I know you can't. You, we always do this after every press conference, but what do you think? Yeah, I do listen, cost checks in the mix. I, I said it to open this thing. I was, you know, I was impressed with everybody here tonight. You know, uh, this is the first time the American fans have seen O'Gara fight. He looked awesome. You know, everybody knows how good Luis Kane is. Um, you know, Koscheck, Koscheck blew me away tonight. I was really blown away by his performance. He, uh, you know, you know what Koscheck could have done. Koscheck could have come out and, uh, you know, he got hit with a couple of big punches right in the beginning of the round. He could have went for the takedown, pushed him against the fence, tried to stall and rough him up. You know, you see that all the time. He did, and he stood right in the middle of the octagon and, and tried to bang with him. Got, when they got down to the ground, he went for the submission. I mean, yeah, I, I was blown away with his performance tonight. So he looked great, and, you know, he's in the mix. I didn't know, you know, the, I was excited for that fight. I, I said the other day when I did the, the media tour that I thought that had the potential to be fight of the night, too. And, uh, you know, he completely dominated in the stand-up. I have a lot of respect for Luis Kane's uh, stand-up and and Nog looked awesome. Not only physically did he look in great shape, he looked he looked awesome in the fight. I was very impressed with him. Dana, um, how did you score the fight? Did you, did, a lot of people thought the first round could have gone either way. Yeah, I did. It was a close first round. First round first round was tough to score. As soon as that fight got over, all of us that were sitting down there were like, that, that was a tough round to score. T Tito clearly won the second round. Um, like I said, at, at the end of the day, I'm not a judge, and it's uh, it's hard when you're sitting there watching it. I'll give you an example. Like we talked, I talked about it at the Q and A the other day when Lorenzo and I flew to uh, England. We rescored the uh, Machida Shogun fight, and you know I, we both scored it either four to one or worst case scenario three to two for uh, for Shogun. So you know I've seen it. I, I got I'd have to watch the fight again. But when you're being when you're sitting there, it's tough. And I'm not a judge. So I don't really sit there and look for what the judges are looking for. I'd so do you bring them. in new judges? I'd have to, yeah, I don't do that. And uh, can you also comment on Amir's fight? Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, fight? great fight. You know, uh, Amir went in there tonight against a tough veteran. You know, let me tell you what. Since the last time Phil Baroni fought in the UFC, this guy must send me 1,000 texts a month. You know, he wants to be in the UFC so bad and wanted to come back and fight. And, and, and Baroni's a tough guy. Let me tell you what, Baroni took some shots tonight, wouldn't go down, stood in there, even though he was gassed, and uh, Amir picked him apart. Amir fought a great fight tonight. You know, tonight was a, was, a, was a good win and a good, uh, a good, uh, a good night for Amir. Watch post-fight interviews and unaired prelims only on UFC.com.